नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज स्टैटिक एंड डायनेमिक मेमोरी एलोकेशन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्टैटिक एंड डायनेमिक मेमोरी एलोकेशन लेट्स टेक फॉर स्टैटिक मेमोरी एलोकेशन स्टैटिक मेमोरी मीन्स नथिंग बट एरेस बिकॉज आई एन टी ए टेन इयर टेन इंटीजियर्स आर एलोकेटेड एंड इज द ब्लॉक ऑफ मेमोरी इज गिवेन द नेम ए टेन इंटीजियर्स एलोकेटेड एंड गिवेन and name x then it is allocated under a given name x <coughs> this is compile time compile टाइम एलोकेशन इट इज बिफोर रनिंग द प्रोग्राम इट सेल्फ दिस एलोकेशन इज डन दिस इज कॉल्ड स्टैटिक मेमोरी एलोकेशन एंड दिस मेमोरी इज एलोकेटेड ऑन स्टॉक एलोकेटेड ऑन स्टैक दट इज अ local memory of function local memory of a function where the array is defined so static memory allocation means just an array which is defined like this i n t x is equal to 10 for example 10 integers are allocated given a name x this is compile time allocation and it is called static memory allocation <coughs> this is allocated on stack Which is nothing but local memory of the function where this is this statement is made. Dynamic memory allocation means runtime allocation. run time allocation run time allocation means when program is running then allocating memory that's called run time allocation or dynamic memory allocation and this is done by malloc calloc and realloc functions these three functions can allocate memory at run time or they do dynamic memory allocation then the program is running memory is allocated that is called run time allocation or dynamic memory allocation and this is memory memory alloc allocated on heap not on stack this run time or dynamic memory allocation the memory is from heap or it is on heap is done by malloc calloc reallocation <laughs> now let us see these functions <coughs> how it is done i n t a say i n t star so how it is done the memory allocated by malloc or any of the other functions that returns a pointer to the memory so suppose we want integer memory so i n t star p let us declare a pointer to integer 
let us allocate memory malloc say i want 10 bytes of memory and malloc returns point to that block of memory assign it to p the point of the memory is assigned to p but malloc returns a void pointer malloc function returns void star void star it returns a pointer to the uh, memory block allocated but the pointer is of type void star that is because we don't know what type of memory we are using it can be integer memory or float memory or character memory so it returns void star which has to be cast accordingly so here uh, we are using integer so cast this memory to void integer star the memory the that means malloc returns a pointer to void that is void star so cast it to integer star and then assign it to p now onwards we can use malloc for example star p is equal to 1 1 star p plus 1 is equal to 2 2 so this is how we will access the memory allocated now how to use calloc uh, suppose in the malloc itself suppose i want to allocate say 10 integers so how do you do that 10 integers means what we do is 10 into the malloc takes only number of bytes so we have to calculate 10 integers means how many bytes we have to specify 10 into uh, 10 star size of an integer size of an integer is actually it's not fixed this is a uh, computer dependent so safest method is use size of operator size of int size of int gets the size of an integer on, the, on that particular computer and multiplied by 10 gives 10 integers this is how we allocate memory for 10 integers and the memory is not initialized the uh, memory allocated by malloc is not initialized so it means it doesn't store anything in that memory initially so the values in these memory locations are undefined I mean uh, they are not uh, there some garbage will be there so what is a calloc function let us see now uh, let us have another pointer okay or same pointer suppose p is equal to calloc here if we want a lot say 50 integers we want 50 integers 50 i can say int that casting of course is there So here in calloc function, the first one is actually calloc function. This takes number of blocks. Unlike malloc function, which will take number of bytes, calloc function allocates number of blocks. For example, it is now allocating 50 blocks of contiguous memory, and size of each block is you specify here. For example, size of int. That means this will allocate 50 integers. If this is float that means it allocates 50 floating point numbers simply characters 50 cares means 50 characters to allocate so that is the convenience of calloc function so here you can say int so this is a difference between using malloc and calloc so malloc takes only bytes only one parameter in malloc there is only one argument that is the number of bytes okay if you want so many integers you have to manipulate that is 10 into size of integer and all that whereas calloc specifically takes number of blocks and size of each block so calloc is more convenient and one more difference is calloc after allocation it fills the memory with zeros so it initializes if that is your requirement then use calloc otherwise you can use malloc 
speed wise malloc is faster because it doesn't do initialization then what is realloc so first thing is uh, after this allocation at the end here we have to free the memory free p this is a must if we don't free the memory once this function or program exists the memory allocated to us still remains allocated to us which we cannot access but that's not available to uh, others also so that memory will be wasted so this is how it would do now let us see what is reallocation realloc this is used to change the size of the memory block now you can see here first malloc allotted uh okay let's now delete this calloc to avoid confusion so let's take first malloc allocated 10 integers to p this realloc is suppose later suppose after allocation sometime later we find that 10 integers is not enough we want to change it suppose i want 50 integers so you can change it so realloc the pointer which points the memory and the new size that is 50 star size of int so realloc pointer which is currently pointing to the allocated memory and then the new size so currently it is only 10 integers we want now 50 integers so now the memory now after realloc p points to 50 integers not just 10 integers this is how the memory is reallocated or memory size is changed this is changing allocated memory size dynamically that is done by realloc